Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're over on the test server, link in the description if you want to get onto it. We're here because one, I've already recorded this video once, but I didn't have my mic hooked up. But two, because we do have some patch notes to look at. Now, it is the new hero. Unfortunately, I don't have any images of the new hero yet. We will get those out uh, tomorrow when we do another video after it actually drops out and we'll look at his skills and all that good stuff. But unfortunately, no image at this stage that I could find. Um, but there's, a, there's actually a little thing in this patch notes, which I absolutely love. And I was really excited when I read it. Probably just me, but I'll tell you when we get to it. So let's go through these notes. So <laughs> added the new hero, uh, the new Hypergean. So I was correct on that. Got the color palette sorted. Uh, Leofric, the Malevolent Menace. Uh, you've got his test trial. We've got his uh, Arena of Trials as well. And apologies, my voice has left me and I'm very tired. It's very late, but hey. These things happen. Okay, added, uh, we got Void Rift to the Voyage of Wonders, Cool Beans, another Voyage, added the Adventure Track of Sands to the Trials of God feature, and we get a new Warrior Class exclusive artifact. Now, I like guessing what these ones are going to be. It's called Life's Limit. My guess for this one is going to be one of two things. First, a, like, a, like almost like a cheat death thing, like a Brutus, where you get to like 1 HP and you can like extend your life's limit by like not dying <laughs> or two it's going to be like <laughs> the the more or less health one way sorry about coughing i'm just this cold has not left me in over a month uh either way like whether you get lower health it increases your damage or whether you get higher health it increases your damage uh, that's what life limits life's limit comes across to me so let me know what you guys think. That's my guess anyway. Uh, new Visty, Misty Valley round is nice. I really want to clear the chapter I'm on so I can get the next rewards before that one. So we'll see how we go. The official season of the hunting fields will begin um, with medals, fortune chests, and avatar frames awarded according to the overall ranking available from local time, yada, yada, yada. That's about... What's that, about 12 days away that that's coming up? So that's not too bad. They did do some optimizations for the hunting fields. Uh, increase the number of specified solo tasks needed to be completed before hunting squad level rewards can be obtained. That's something they said they were going to do in some dev notes because trying to combat the AFK... That... <laughs> When you say AFK in the game's AFK, okay, with the, the players who weren't participating and uh, and screwing the team. Um, <laughs> single challenge period has been increased to eight days up from seven days. So you get an extra day to do it, which is nice. Um, oh, I missed this one. Added a new mid challenge, abandon hunt voting system. That makes me think it's like you can kick an inactive player. I think that's what it means. Because it's a voting system and it's an ab abandon. Or whether you abandon the entire hunt. So, like, you get midway through the challenge and it's like, we got too many inactives. Let's just scrap the whole thing and try again with another group. One of those two things is my guess. Uh, reduce the difficulty of the second team's uh, enemies found in level four and five camps, which is nice because those level five camps were actually really hard in that. Um, reduce the HP of the first and fourth life of Adrax and increase the HP of his second and third life. Okay. I think it was actually just like an evening out of them, maybe. Um, reduce the quantity of teams needed within most stages of chapter 31 through 35 of the campaign. For specifics, please refer to the game. So I think that means like if you're on multi-battle bosses where you've got to like bring three teams, it might now be two teams or five teams might down be four teams. That's what I'm assuming it means. So making life a little bit easier through those early chapters. I think the reasoning for that is that people are getting to these chapters earlier and they just don't have the units built. Um, just because of the whole balance of the game, better heroes, all that sort of stuff, reducing the difficulty of it, all those sorts of things mean that people are just getting to them earlier. Like, I think I'm on chapter 27 with only one Ascended Hero at the moment. So it's like, you're getting to those stages, so just trying to balance out and smooth progression is my guess what's going on there. Reduce the combat rating limits, chapters 20 through 41. So for those of you that are stuck on combat rating, there you go. I did get stuck there once, but I'm not that good to get stuck there all the time. Uh, reduce the level of signature items worn by enemies in most stages from 35 through 40, which is nice. <clears throat> Moving on, we have the Arcane 
Labyrinth. Uh, Dismal Maze now includes a mutual assistance function. When a player does not use Jura's Tears to complete at least four multi-team battles, the player becomes a Dismal Master, giving them the ability to help other maze goers. What I'm hoping this means is like they just become like the master and if they're on your friends list or in your guild or something, um, you get to a stage and you can just like borrow one of their teams for that battle. Um, instead of actually having to make that person do something, I hope it's just like a passive thing for the person that's the maze, the dismal master, and then like you know the person struggling can just go ahead and grab grab assistance without the other person having to like quote unquote give the assistance. Um, this one, number eleven, number eleven got me really excited when I started reading it. Added a new follow function for Rosaline the kind. Uh, players can now manually select the allied target that they want Rosaline to follow prior to entering battles. This is so good. I like, you guys all know the pain of like swapping gear, swapping artifacts, swapping furniture, trying to get Rosaline to the right, trying to get your, your team to the right power. And then it's like for those mega whales who've got like a 40 signature item, celestial hypergen or a dimensional, like you just, you, you ain't getting Rosaline to follow anyone else. So that is really nice for making Rosaline actually like more, it, it's just a good quality of life. And um, it excites me because it's like, if they do stuff like that, maybe they could further that sort of idea and then implement like individual manual and auto buttons for every, like the five characters in battle. That would be a really cool feature because some characters you want to have on manual. Um, something like in boss fights, if you're using a Raku, you don't want him to use his ult. So if you put him on manual and have everyone else on auto, you know, you can cruise through like that. So um, that, that's just where it takes me, but really cool that we now have the follow function. You can choose who Rosaline follows, which is fantastic. Um, optimize the portraits feature after receiving a new hero. Players can tap on the portraits tab and be taken directly to their new hero's portrait. Opening the hero's story will automatically grant the player's reward 100 diamonds. So I think what that is doing, it's taking like two clicks out of the process um, and making that quicker. I still, I still want to collect all button. I, it's fantastic, but I ain't going to stop till we get a collect all because I hate going into anything to collect diamonds. Okay. Next up, hero adjustments. Uh, Queen uh, fixed an issue. Okay. Silas fixed a problem causing the skill double dosage to incorrectly affect targets that should not be being uh, targetable. Okay. Uh, nothing here looks overly important. Fixed a problem that would cause enemies. Okay, they're having trouble with... And then Pippa... Okay, they're obviously having trouble with portals and the uh, the displacement of heroes in after the portals. Damon fixed a problem that would cause Damon to join the battle late against Mezoth. Okay. Keltha fixed a problem that would sometimes cause the flight path of the Shuriken to be... Okay, I have seen some crazy flight paths. I have seen that. Uh, Moro improved the description of cosmic... Okay, descriptions, but the ability stays the same. Zorath fixed an issue where the doppelganger sometimes ha make Zolroth have incorrect health at the end of the fight. Okay, cool beans, just a bunch of bug fixes, but not a bad update. We've got the hunting fields coming. We've got a new artifact. We've got the Rosaline thing, which is cool. Um, and we do have the new Hypergene, so I'm pumped to see the new Hypergene. Uh, Leofric. Le Le Leofric. L Leo. Le let's go with Leo. Looking forward to seeing Leo. <laughs> Leo. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day, and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.